Greetings, salutations. Welcome to this Midday Power Surge, Monday, February 7th, 2022. This is your spiritual oasis on this pilgrim journey. Safe to Serve International, first time viewers, welcome one, welcome all to this Midday Power Surge. What's trending, brothers and sisters? What is trending today? Here we have it, my friends. Clear as day, clear as crystal, coming soon. Climate lockdowns, and that's the great question, brothers and sisters. That's the great question. Take a look at this article here, fresh off the press. All right, headline, coming soon. Climate lockdowns. Now, friends, one reason why this was very intriguing to me is simply because we know that the climate lockdowns is linked to the coming weekly Sunday lockdown, weekly Sunday rest, which will evolve into the weekly Sunday worship. And friends, we are nearing that grand event. Let's take a look at this, brothers and sisters. And what has the man of sin called for? There it is, my friends, coming soon. Lockdowns, even Sunday lockdowns. And beloved, I have spent a number of sessions sharing with you that the coming climate lockdowns is intimately connected to the actual Sunday rest, Sunday worship, weekly Sunday worship lockdowns. I've, I've covered that ad nauseum. And today, I'm not going to uh, repeat all those current events which I've dealt with in the past because most of you are familiar with the fact. One more time, I'll state it. The coming climate lockdown is connected to and will evolve into and lead into the coming weekly Sunday worship, Sunday rest by law. Is that clear, brothers and sisters? Take a look at this. And now, the actual author of this piece in The Hill, that's a media platform, The Hill, stated that the Pestilence 19 crisis, along with its policy, was simply an open act, the open act. And then stated, the climate crisis is going to be the final act. Brothers and sisters, you heard me correctly. Let's take a look at the piece. There it is. The past two years have been a checklist for the worst impulses of government and public sentiment. The pestilence 19 crisis allowed for supposedly temporary measures to morph into two years of emergency restrictions. Listen to this. But what if the Pestilence 19 was only the opening act? Hmm. And another proclaimed crisis is the main event. Beloved, before I give you the biblical commentary, allow me to read the next paragraph. Look at this, brothers and sisters. Implementing significant but partial restrictions one by one in the name of the common good can allow for encompassing government control that results in relatively little backlash. Fear over climate change could lead to long-term soft lockdowns given the precedent of immense growth of government power and significant support for sweeping state actions. There it is, my friends. Again, connecting both paragraphs. Red words. What if the pestilence 19 was only the opening act and another proclaimed crisis is the main event? And what did they mention? The coming climate change crisis, brothers and sisters. Beloved, what comes to your mind as you heard and as you read those words? The pestilence 19 crisis is the opening act and the climate crisis is going to be the closing, 
the final act, the main event. What comes to your mind, those of you alive? What comes to your mind? Beloved, may I assist you? I'll give you a Bible and then spread a prophecy in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 9. The Bible clearly says we're living in a time of a great theater. That's the marginal reference. That word, um, we are a great, we are actually spectators. That word means theater. We are a spectacle unto angels, to men, to other worlds, unfallen worlds. Yes, friends. That word means theater, theater, drama. In every theater act, in every drama, you have the opening act and the main event. Back in the world, on the stage, as a DJ, you had various artists who would come as the opening act, then I would grace the stage with my presence. I was the main event. Pestilence 19 is what? The opening act, then comes the main event. What is that main event? They said, climate crisis. Hold on. Is that in the Bible anywhere? If you were to look at Matthew 24, verse number 7, through verse number 9, you will see the opening act. You'll also see the main event. If we were to take these events in chronological order, just verse 7 through verse 9, you will see exactly the fulfillment of prophecy. Verse 7, what came first? Pestilences or earthquakes in diverse places? Based on verse 7, the pestilences is mentioned first, opening act, then is mentioned earthquakes in diverse places. That means globally, pandemic, opening act, main event. And what is in verse 8 and verse 9? Great sorrow. Then God's people are going to be delivered up will be afflicted, will be hated by all nations. God's people are going to be persecuted for adhering to the principles that comprise God's name. I wish I could give you a Bible study right now on just God's name. God's name written in our foreheads. Revelation 14.1 in the forehead is also the seal of God. Revelation 7, verse 1 through verse 4. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 6, well, verse 1 through verse number 8. The Bible tells us those who honor and love God's name are Sabbath keepers, seventh day Sabbath keepers. God's name being persecuted for rejecting Sunday worship and adhering to God's seventh day Sabbath again. Watch now. Here comes spirit of prophecy. Opening act. Then comes main event. The final act in the drama. Look at that, my friends. Volume 7, page 141. Sunday worship by law is going to be the last act in the drama brothers and sisters is that clear one more statement great controversy page 589 which also confirms pestilences opening act then comes the main event sunday worship by law beloved are these things clear so far well notice the author of that piece went on to state that now we are seeing Gross, restricting of our liberties, all in the name of the common good. States, governments, yes, polities are now becoming draconian, all in the name of the common good. There it is, my friends. First sentence, all in the name of the common good. And beloved, we know the common good is a Roman Catholic social teaching. Come on, God, give up your rights. Do you see the connection there? All right. Come on, God, Sunday worship by law, brothers and sisters. Today, we're not playing games. We don't play games here, my friends. And here's the point I want to emphasize. The author of the piece labeled this article as coming soon. 
I'm going to emphasize coming soon right now. Coming soon, climate lockdowns. Beloved, the word coming soon is not guesswork. It's not speculation. The coming soon is already here. Look at what the author of the piece put in print, my friends. There it is. First sentence calls for harsh government measures in the name of saving the environment are already in the parlance of influential organizations and figures. Parlance means jargon. In the rhetoric, the verbal oration, the verbal sentiments of influential organizations and figures. And notice who they mentioned. The Red Cross. Yes, climate lockdown. That's it. Mr. Floodgates, all in blue, blue words, climate lockdown. And the former governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney, mm -hmm. all clamoring for and promoting climate lockdown, brothers and sisters. And those were just a small number of people and institutions that are supporting and calling for such things. So, beloved, the great question is, what will the climate lockdown look like? I wonder, has it begun to confirm what I just said? That the coming soon is already here? We'll take a look at what the author put in print, brothers and sisters. There it is. What would climate lockdowns look like? Second sentence, most likely cities. And states, watch carefully, friends, would begin a gradual and discreet ramp up of what? Of various restrictions. Now, friends, you could read the rest of that. Won't spend much time here. Now, notice the red words. You want to drive a car? <laughs> you want to drive your car? You will be hit with attacks. That's it, brothers and sisters. Again, I'm I'm proving without a shadow of a doubt the coming soon is already here. Notice what we covered several days ago. What is being proposed in London, England, in the UK right now? It's right there, my friends. You'll be taxed if you headline. All right, friends, there it is. The mayor also says drivers could be hit with a two pound daily fee all right if you want to drive in the city why they want to combat climate change and this is a new climate proposal there it is my friends london mayor wants daily driving charge of up to two pounds daily that's it won't spend time there move on listen to this piece just to show my friends to confirm that the peace that we are emphasizing from the hill is not isolated. No, other persons are seeing the very same thing. Hold on. And that's why in the title, you see the words, my friends, from blurry vision to clear vision. Most of these individuals are looking at empirical facts and data. They are reasoning from cause to effect, and they're seeing what transpired during the pestilence 19 pandemic, and they can simply make the prediction. The climate lockdown is coming, and it's going to be more draconian. They can see it, friends. But what they cannot see is the power behind it. All right, blurry vision. We have to allow them to receive from God their eyes anointed. All right. They cannot see, watch carefully, they cannot see that the climate lockdown will ultimately evolve into weekly Sunday worship by law with persecution for Bible dissenters, God's commandment keeping people, God's Sabbath keeping people. They have blurry vision. But they are better than the average. 
they are closer to the kingdom of God than the majority. And by God's grace, we now have to come with present truth, Bible prophecies showing them the events are fulfilling Bible prophecies so they can experience from blurry vision to clear vision, not just 2020 vision. No, 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 friends. But having their eyes anointed with heavenly eye salve. Too much talking. Let's get to the point. Watch this. Listen. But climate activists continue to insist that we face a worldwide climate emergency. And there's been more talk of the need for what are called climate lockdowns. All right. Clip number two. Listen. Say Dozens of nations have already declared a climate emergency, including the entire European Union. And now, after accusing climate skeptics of inventing a conspiracy theory about climate lockdowns, there has been increasing talk of instituting climate lockdowns, modeled after COVID lockdowns and under a system called environmental authoritarianism, in which your right to drive a car or fly in a plane or own a big house could be suspended by the government in order to fight climate change. Mm, mm, mm. Did you hear that, my friends? Let me give you clip three, then we can move on from here. Notice. A recent article in the influential magazine Foreign Policy suggested democracy may not be compatible with reaching climate goals. Mm. So what must happen to our freedoms? They must be curtailed, brothers and sisters. And now we are being told we need climate lockdown to save Americans to save people from their sales. Watch this, brothers and sisters. Lockdowns, which significantly reduced carbon emissions during 2020, could be the solution. And beloved, again, I have covered this at ad nauseum. Look at that. Why was there less lightning during the pestilence 19? lockdowns why was there less there it is my friends notice again watch carefully why was there less lightning during the pestilence 19 lockdowns that's it friends and again a second article listen to this now after all the eu's climate service gloated the first pestilence 19 lockdown may have saved 800 lives. Climate lockdowns and other restrictions will be framed, says the author, as saving the people of the United States and the world from themselves. <laughs> what goal could be more noble? And of course, the last question is a statement of being facetious. Look at this, my friends. This is history being repeated. Were these not the same sentiments from Popery? Worship on Sunday? Hmm? To, to preserve yourselves and your neighbors? Beloved, that was written in the book Great Controversy, quoting from the historical record. But hold on. Do you know recently the Pope of Rome repeated the very same words? Look at this, friend. I told you, I've covered this at ad nauseum. There it is, my friend. And the context is uh, the COP26 meeting in Glasgow to combat climate change. And what did he say? The same words. Time is running out. <laughs> Time is running out. All right. This occasion must not be wasted, lest we have to face God's judgment for our failure to be faithful stewards of the world he has entrusted to our care. So, Mr. Francis, what must the nations do? There it is. And for Sunday worship by law, brothers and sisters. I'm not going to spend much time here. If that's not clear, nothing else will arrest our attention. And beloved... The actual author of the piece in the Hill stated, if Pestilence 19 slew, as they have reported, all right, caused many millions, they said, died globally 
of Pestilence 19. And they instituted such draconian policies. Just imagine if we're being told that the main event is coming, which is climate crises, which will kill billions of people. The author is asking, just imagine how more draconian, diabolical the policies are going to be, inimical to our liberties. Get to the point. If Pestilence 19 could kill millions, imagine the powers the government will assume against a threat that could kill billions. <laughs> Political leaders have learned that fear prompts the public to accept dramatic drama, dramatic curtailing of freedoms for vague, for vague, empty promises of safety. And brothers and sisters, the author is not far off from the principles of Bible truth. Let that sink in, my friends. And notice, what are they going to label those who refuse to go along with their diabolical policies, heinous acts, and surrendering God's principles, what will they label us? Take a look at this, my friends. The author of the piece went on to say, anyone against such measures could be labeled a climate denier who stands against progress or simply a domestic terrorist. You heard that correctly and read that correctly, my friends. Now watch it carefully now. Defectors likely won't have much choice anyhow. Listen to this. Facial recognition, plate reading software, coupled with the impressive scope of drones, could lead to severe enforcement. And beloved, the very words of the author in this piece are the same words that we have heard. Chronicled in the book, Great Controversy. There it is, my friends. How are we going to be treated? What are we going to be labeled as? It's right there, my friends. Page 592, as well as page 614. We are going to be labeled as the menace of society. That's it, my friends. Fundamentalists, extremists, and as they put there, local, domestic, even international terrorists. It's coming, brothers and sisters. It's coming. It's coming. I'm not sure how many more signs we need. And that's why, my friends, when I read the title, Coming Soon, hmm, Climate Lockdowns, Coming Soon, Coming Soon, this came back to my mind that great changes are soon to take place in our world. Yes, friends. And the final movements will be what? Rapid ones. Remember, the Pestilence 19 was simply the opening act. The main event is going to be the climate lockdown. Sunday, weekly lockdowns. My friends, just in case you forgot, you remember what happened and what was stated uh, in, in Barbados? Sunday lockdowns to combat the crises. In Jamaica, weekly Sunday lockdowns leave the Caribbean. In Canada, even right now in Canada, in Quebec, weekly Sunday lockdowns. In America, we had the weekly Sunday lockdowns. In Europe, Australia, have you forgotten, friends? Weekly Sunday lockdowns. It's coming, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, it's coming. And that's why we're told in Prophets and Kings, page 626, that Christians should be preparing for what is soon to break upon this world as an overwhelming surprise. Opening act to the main event. Opening act to the final act in the drama. Or, and this preparation, they should make, it says, by diligently studying the words of God and striving to conform their lives to its precepts. Book it, Prophets and Kings, that book. Page 626. Now, friends, I did 
a simply deeper dive in the article just to see who the author was. Lest people think it's just a simple article and this, 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 this author doesn't have and carry much clout. Think again. Look at this, my friends. The author's name is Kristen Tate, right off your screen. Red Alert Politics, Newsmax Magazine, each named Kristen, one of the 30 most influential right of center leaders under the age of 30. Does she carry influence, brothers and sisters? Left off your screen. Does she carry influence? That's the point. I need you all to see, brothers and sisters. And with that in mind, notice now, based on this article in The Hill, another online news media press carried the same article and commented on it. And brothers and sisters, this is the main event. Look at this right here. Watch carefully. Here it is. WND just came out two days ago. Headline, the ultimate lockdown plan and how you can what? Escape it. I'll come back to that. Skip on down. A troubling question was posted this week by a writer of The Hill. Quote, what if Pestilence 19 was only the opening act? And another proclaimed crisis is the main event, wondered Kristen Tate. Notice now, friends. People all over the world have seen with their own eyes, I'll come back to that, how easily two weeks, that must be emphasized, two weeks of temporary measures turned into more than two years, one more time, from two weeks to two years of unheard of emergency restrictions with lockdowns killing personal freedom. Lockdowns killing personal freedom, crippling finances, yes, crippling global economies and sending fear and anxiety through the roof. But, what last question now, but is there something unseen is there something unseen driving the push for lockdowns that many people are missing? Brothers and sisters, I'm simply not giving you the second media outlet that carried the piece. But that startling question, is there something unseen driving? Ah, oh, my friends, the push for lockdowns that many people are missing. They're blind. All right. Let me deal with from blurry vision now to clear vision. Look at that. Blue words. People all over the world have seen with their own eyes. And others are missing the driving force behind the lockdowns. Beloved, do you recall in Mark chapter 8, verse 23 through verse 25, when Christ encountered a blind man? And Christ touched his eyes eyes were anointed and the question was asked of the blind see you anything and the man responded i see men as trees walking he had blurry vision and verse 25 christ touched his eyes again and the bible said the blind saw men clearly from blurry vision to clear vision, beloved, what do the world people need? Revelation 3 verse 18, I'll come to that. Again, look at this, the question now. But, first sentence, but is there something unseen driving the push for lockdowns that many people are missing? Look at this new publication now another author second sentence the author of a new book says the answer is a strong yes mm -hmm. and the reason is not difficult to discern if if 
a strong if. If people look in the right place. All right, let me bring in the audience. Those of you who are live, you're live in the forum. Where should people look to find the answer, to find the power that is driving the lockdowns, restricting our liberties? Where should they look? Come on, talk to me. Where should they look, brothers and sisters? All right, damn it. Man of God, your alias, all right. They should look to the Bible. Look at what this says in the piece. Watch carefully. Blue words. The people would discern if they look in the right place. Red words. The reason, quote, the reason is quite plain and can be found in the Bible. Who said that, my friends? Says Joe... Kovacs, another author. Do you see it, my friends? In other words, I want to be very clear and emphatic. Beloved, people are looking at current events and they're saying the only way to give an answer for what has taken place, what is happening, and what is to come is to look in the Bible. And yet, we have some professed SDA who are saying the modern crises of Pestilence 19 have nothing to do with Bible prophecies. Are they drunk? Nincompoops, they are. And I believe some of these people are the modern day wise men of Matthew 2. They could read the signs of the times. And they were studying the writings of Balaam. A star shall arise in Judah. Yes, my friends. And they came seeking. Where is he that should be born? King of the Jews. For we have come to worship him. And the church was ignorant. The church Leaders were novices, could not assist those who were searching. But praise God, the Spirit of God, God's angels led the wise men directly to the Savior to present truth of that day. So we are the angels of God today. Angels, meaning human messengers, Galatians 4 verse 14. Where are they? Let me move on. Watch carefully now. Listen, the events in today's news, from the pestilence 19 pandemic to the resulting lockdowns, are based on a template in Scripture that often manifests in our daily lives. Stop right there. I can't give you all of it yet. I can't give you all of it yet. I must build up the suspense. Did we not read that this is the opening act? And the main event, there has to be some suspense. Beloved, look what I mean. The author, Joe Kovacs, I, I believe his name is. He said, look at the biblical template. The man is now going to link lockdowns with the plagues. And he's correct. Down there in Egypt, he's correct. But what he does not see based on these what maybe has seen it what he does not see based on this piece is that the coming plagues the seven last plagues are linked to a particular event come on those of you are alive which event triggers the wrath of god the seven last plagues is it not the mark of the beast Sunday worship by law Revelation 14 verse 9 verse 10, Revelation 15 verse 1, Revelation 16 verse 1 and verse 2, and skip on down to a time of darkness, the fourth, fifth, and sixth plagues. From blurry vision, they need clearer vision. Look at this now. Watch carefully. The events in today's news are based on a template in scripture blue words but it is easy to miss when we focus on the physical aspects alone rather than the spiritual the man is telling us the pestilence 19 is based on prophecy next 
red words, among the earliest recorded lockdowns is the three days of darkness that brought the ancient Egyptians to a complete standstill. Was that not one of the plagues? Yes, and what will bring the plagues in the last days, brothers and sisters? The mark of the beast, beloved, I'm telling you, from blurry vision to spiritual eye salve, clear vision. He goes on, watch carefully. But is there something unseen driving the push for lockdowns that many people are missing? Blue words. Every lockdown, says the author, every lockdown that keeps people in some sort of captivity or restricts their movement is actually broadcasting an additional message on the spirit level. Go back to your Bible, he's telling us, my friends. You know what came to my mind? The account in Acts chapter 8. The Ethiopian eunuch had the Bible. Beloved, are you hearing me? The Ethiopian eunuch just saw a crisis and heard of a crisis in Jerusalem. And what was he reading? The Bible. Where was he reading from? Isaiah 53. And notice now, Philip drew near by God's Spirit. And I asked him, do you understand what you are reading? And what did he say? How can I understand except someone explain these prophecies based on current events? Beloved, the Ethiopian eunuch said, is he, speak, is he speaking of himself, Isaiah, or somebody else? He had blurred vision. And by God's grace... Philip brought him clearer vision. Praise God. He accepted Christ, confessed his sins, surrendered everything to Christ, and was baptized. Is that not our work, my friends? Yes, that's our work. So while the authors are saying, get back to the Bible, people have their Bibles, but they need some assistance. Is that clear, my friends? Needing some assistance? Where are the people of God today? That's the great question. Who is behind the push for lockdowns? First sentence. But is there something unseen driving the push for lockdowns that many people are missing? Look at this, my friends. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Page 138. The world is a theater. The actors, its inhabitants, are preparing to act their part in the last great drama. Watch now. A power from beneath is working, driving to bring about the last great scenes in the drama, the main event, Satan coming as Christ. Yes, my friends. Now, that's not the main event. Beloved, that's simply the last act in the drama. The main event is the second coming of Christ. That's it, my friends. That's the main event. What are we to be found doing? I'm finished. I don't want this to be longer than it needs to be. What shall I more say? Beloved, we need to have the experience of Philip today. But before we can do the work... Of Philip in Acts chapter 8, do you know what work we do you know what experience and what encounter we need to have? It's John chapter 1. The first place we find Philip is in verse number 43. The day following Jesus would go forth into Galilee and finds Philip and saith unto him, Follow me. And notice, once Philip found Jesus, or was found of Jesus, what happened? He went forward to find Nathaniel and said, We have found him. We have found him. 
And of course, Philip's vision was not clear as it should be at that time. He had blurred vision. For what he said, we have found him, let me not extend this too long, of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. <laughs> but he heard John the Baptist saying, the Lamb of God. But later on, he understood not just Jesus mm -mm. of Nazareth, the son of Joseph, but Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, the son of God. We must have an encounter with Christ. And, and the things will become brighter and brighter. Then we can go forward to evangelize others, fulfilling Revelation chapter 3 and verse number 18. Beloved, did this speak to your heart today for midday power surge? Do you see the work God is calling us to carry forward right now before it's too late? Do you see it, my friends? May we not be found lukewarm, Revelation 3, 14 through 18 through 21. No, friends. May we be found hot, on fire for Jesus. Yes, my friends. Receiving the gold, that's the faith. Faith to endure trials that we're going through. Sickness that we are now going through. Economic crises that we're now going through. A financial burden that we're now facing. The faith that can overcome Every sinful temptation, yes, and be covered with that white raiment, yes, friends, the righteousness of Christ, having our eyes anointed with heavenly eye salve. Then go forward in the work of aggressive evangelism. Sister Henriquez, what song do you have for us today? In times like these, we need a savior or a bibles an anchor send in your prayer requests in times like these Jesus. 